Welcome to Beyond Measure. You'll need two different colors of scrap paper, a sheet of white cardstock, and a piece of regular paper to do a sample print on. I love paper piecing with digi stamps. Using blue's painter's tape, attach the tan where the C is and the alligator where the bag is. Then I'll load that particular piece of paper printed side down with the top towards the printer. Up next is White Picket Fence in Distress Stain by Tim Holtz. Build the clouds with layers, first using a very soft hand and then a little bit firmer. This is the Crafter's Companion Ultimate Tool. Foundation of our card is 11 half inches by 6 inches. Fold in half and crease with a bone folder. Place card foundation upon the clouds and trace. Next, place card foundation upon one of your green coordinations cardstock. Trim with your Fiskars paper trimmer. Next, emboss with your Sissix Texture Boutique using your Provocraft Victoria embossing folder. Ooh, look at this. It does such a beautiful job on coordinations. Be sure not to sand upon your nonstick mat. Place a piece of scrap chipboard underneath. Next, this is the paper that I used for the Granite Mountain. It's from Die Cuts with a View Weathered and Worn Stack. I'm going to add a little stubble, so to speak, to these mountains. So we're embossing it with the Swiss Dots by Provocraft. Next, to add a little bit of cohesiveness and summertime warmth to it, we'll ink with Distress Inks, Evergreen Bow, and Pine Needles. Who? Yet another color of coordinations in green. We are embossing with the Provocraft Distress Stripe embossing folder. Next, sand and wipe it off. We're using the Pilled Paint Distress Ink to give it some warmth. Just spritz with water and clean up, clean up everybody everywhere. I looked online for an outline of the view that you get from the 18th hole. This is a whimsy version of the view from the 18th hole of the Grand Tetons. Now, to give it a finished look and some cohesiveness, we're using Frayed Burlap Distress Ink to go around every edge. I went very light on the inking. Now, to adhere our clouds to the front of our card with our ATG gun by Scotch. Oopsie, I didn't ink the foundation of the card. Now, we need to adhere our mountains together so they're more easily handled. Now that our mountains are as one unit, I get to add some snow with the distress marker in Picket Fence. Oh my goodness, moving right along using the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive to adhere our mountain range to our foundation and the sky. Next is our striped piece of green, using the brayer to make sure everything is as adhered beautifully. And last but not least, our Victoria embossed green. Making sure to get your edges even. If uneven, trim with scissors. Make sure that all of your edges are inked. This is my very first time to use a Copic marker. It is in white brick and it's a really cool color actually. The Copic is very moist so you need to use a very light hand with it. Coloring the top of the golf cart solid, I chose to go around the rims of our hubcaps and then just do a little line along the bottom of the cart with the marker for professional effect. Next, this is the Crayola colored pencils. I used the black and now I'm using red on the T. Next up, we'll use our gray Crayola colored pencil to go around every single bit of our digi stamps. You cannot really tell on the video, but I am swirling. I'm not just doing straight lines. If you look closely, you'll see the depth and dimension in which this gives to the digi stamps. It also aids in giving more width when cutting around things such as the steering wheel and such. Next up, we get to use our red-orange on our flag. 
color close to all of your black lines using the little swirl technique. Yay! Now we get to the fun part. We get to blend with our paper stump using the cotton pad to be our dispenser, so to speak, of our odorless mineral spirits. Using this technique with the cotton pad ensures that you will not get too much liquid on your paper stump. Be sure to sand your paper stump in between colors. Are you stumped yet? I sure hope not. I wonder who originally came up with this technique. It is so awesome and so forgiving. Now we'll do some metallic accents with the Sharpie silver marker on the golf clubs and the little hubcaps on our golf cart. Fussy cut time! When paper piecing the golf bag, be sure to cut on the outside edge of the black line. Add some dark brown inside of the bag. We'll have fun, fun, fun till the daddy takes your T-bird away. For the seat, also cut along the outer edge of the black line. Run through the Zyron one and a half inch, create a sticker machine, and adhere to your golf cart. Make sure that you give yourself some movability to be able to place your seat and your golf bag just right. So don't press it immediately. Okay, so I'm out of adhesive for my big Zyron, so I'm having to use my ATG gun. Yes, it uses a ton of adhesive, but it's the way I need to do it. So just cover, cover, cover with that ATG gun. Adhere to other pieces of cardstock, and you'll be finished when you have three layers of cardstock. Three for stability. Now let's don't get in a fuss. Next up is fussy cutting. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> I like to use the We Are Memory Keepers Big Bite to punch some holes in the difficult areas to pierce with the nose of my scissors. Make sure to watch carefully, though, because you don't want to punch a hole in your steering wheel or your seat, right? <laughs> Upon fussy cut completion, I'm sanding very lightly along the cut edges to smooth. Now to place the flag and the golf ball through the Zyron so that they'll be ready for adhesion when the time comes. For placement purposes, I'm using a piece of scrap paper to make a pattern for my green, so to speak. Actually, it's a tea box, I think. But anyhow, trace around it on the, with a permanent marker on your adhesive sheet and then cut apply to the front of your card, then peel off the translucent red backing, place in a coffee filter, and sprinkle with your green flocking. No worries here. It will appear as if it's not going to stick and look nice. But keep touching it with your fingers and it just kind of fluffs out. Peel off the Xyron backing and attach your golf ball and tee. Next up, we'll use the Zotz 3D glue dots to adhere our golf cart to the front of our card. This little golf cart is so uber cute. Next, punch four circles, two of which will need a little hole in the center. You will have made a spring by wrapping your wire around a marker. Placing the end of the spring through the hole, adhere with glossy accents to the solid circle and hold for a couple of seconds. You'll need a strong adhesive right here, so that's why I use glossy accents. Now adhere to the back of our four golf ball. Next, highlight the pits in the golf ball with glossy accents. Now use the same technique on the inside for the green as I did for the tee box on the front part of the card. Now to get our spacing, be sure when adhering the wiggle wire to add pressure for a couple of seconds. Next, for a smooth, strong adhesion, we're going to run the words through the little Xyron one and a half create a sticker machine. I just love it. It's so awesome. These words are a bit wiggly because this ball is following the trail of the words. Next up is the wonderful Paper Pizzazz Easy Stitches Stitching Template. I'm using the Picket Fence Distress Marker too. 
because the stitching is in a straight line and we have a little bit more of movement, I'm moving it just a tad here and there to get more movement in our stitching. Next up is our Spellbinders Petite Ovals. Our sentiment that we created in our Minecraft studio and the cuddle bug, all for a great winning combination. Next, we'll emboss. To emboss, all you gotta do is change the sandwich and it will emboss it too. Spellbinders are ingenious and super easy to use. Next, we'll ink with our frayed burlap distress ink by Tim Holtz. And we'll use a super fine from Big Lots some foam tape to adhere our sentiment to the front of the card. And now our project is complete. Thank you for watching and thank you for being so very special. Be blessed beyond measure.